In this video, we continue our work in section 3.5 on integration by parts. So in the video we just looked at, we saw where that integration by parts formula comes from. And it is written as the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So when we're doing examples and trying to compute the integrals or antiderivatives, the first step we wanna do is try to compute or determine which function in our integral should be our u function and which should be our dv function. So if we look at this first example, we have the integral of x e to the x dx. So for us, I'm gonna let u be the function x and I'm gonna let dv be the function e to the x. So in these examples, we'll talk a little bit about why I've made each decision, but sometimes it is just a matter of trial and error. So the reason why I chose u to equal x is because then we take the derivative du, well, the derivative of x is just one. So that'll really simplify the integral when I consider the integral of v du. So just to summarize here, this x is my u, this e to the x dx is my dv. So I should have dx here as well. Awesome, so now integration by parts tells us that this integral is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So I need to determine du and v. So if dv is e to the x, then v, the original function, is gonna be the antiderivative e to the x, which is just e to the x. So then this integral that I'm trying to compute becomes u times v, which for us is x times e to the x, so I have x times e to the x minus the integral of v, which is e to the x, du, which is just one. And I should be a little bit more careful here. This is one dx because I'm differentiating with respect to x. So now I can carry out to this work. So x times e to the x, that just remains the same. There's no integrating or anti-differentiating I need to do. The integral of e to the x is just e to the x. And because I'm complete computing an indefinite integral, I need to make sure I'm adding my plus c here. So there we have it. Our integral, the integral of x e to the x dx is equal to x e to the x minus e to the x plus c.